Okay, um, hello to um, all our um, online learners for this course. Uh, I'm going to break down this problem into a series of videos um, to give you some ideas about how to tackle this type of problem. Um, keeping in mind, of course, that I am not a professional tech drawer, so if anyone wants to add any comments or, or, or helpful hints in the comments section below, please, by all means, because um, this is all about um, us learning how to, um, to do this better. This particular example comes from um, the John Rocheford Communications HSC Engineering Studies uh, booklet. And um, I will put a link in uh, the description below where you can uh, access this resource. Um, I think it's a good resource. Uh, it's something handy to have if you are studying engineering in general and certainly for the HSC Engineering Studies course. Um, to start with, what I'm going to do is we're just going to look at the actual question um, that appears in that booklet. This is on page 24. Um, it's, this is, um, your video is about sectioning. And if we look at the actual um, question, uh, which, you know, hopefully you've all got in front of you anyway, um, we have a, um, this is a, 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 just, a adjusting sleeve, um, locking nut and adjustment barrel for a bicycle, side pull caliper brake. And the question is basically asking you um, I'll just try and get us uh, in a better position here so we can actually see the question. Okay, um, the question is asking, using a scale of 5 to 1, draw a sectional front view of the adjusting sleeve on the axis provided. And we can see that the axis, axis that's provided is here. It's quite um, a long axis compared to the actual part that we're um, going to be working on. And um, dimensions on the front view, um, the overall length of the adjusting sleeve, and the size of the chamfer. Okay, so first of all, we need to know what part we're actually trying to do a section of. And it says here, so whenever you're doing this type of question, it's always a good idea to try and make sure that you underline or note um, the, the sections of the question you need to answer. Okay, first of all, it says here, um, use a scale five to one okay so five to one we need to understand what that means draw a sectional front view so it's a sectional view of the adjusting sleeve okay so they're asking you to do the whole thing if you started this question and tried to do, do the whole thing um, you'd be wasting a huge amount of time and making your life very very difficult okay so you can see here this um, diagram is exploded out and uh, the adjusting sleeve is this part here okay so it's this part here that we're dealing with, that we want to actually draw. Okay, so that's going to make our life a lot easier. Um, on the axis provided, we know the axis um, is over here. And it says here, dimensions on the front view of the overall length. Okay, so that's one measurement that's going on. And the size of the chamfer is the other measurement that's going on. So there's only two measurements. So you've got lots and lots and lots of measurements on this adjusting sleeve, but they're only asking for two, okay? So that's the first thing that you really need to break down a question to make sure you understand it. Now, if you had um, this scale of five to one and you started saying, is five to one bigger or smaller? Okay, you're a bit confused about it. Okay, you might say five centimeters is one centimeter, which means um, it's going to um, be smaller. But that's not actually how the scale works, of course. And the, and the clue to that is, look at the size of the um, area where they want you to do this. So the, on, the, on, on the axis provided, the axis provided is a lot longer than um, your um, drawing here. And this drawing, I don't think, is drawn to scale as well, because it's saying that that's 22 millimetres, which is quite a small part. So a small part, you're going to want to make it bigger. It's, it's already probably double the size in the actual drawing. So the drawing's not to scale as well. So really, this drawing, I, the drawing does actually say, hey, not to scale. So they're actually being kind there and doing the right thing. So we know that 5 to 1 is going to be bigger. And the best way to think about that is put 5 over 1 as a fraction. And 5 over 1 is obviously 5, so it's times 5. If it was 1 is to... Um, if we had a scale of 1 is to 5, it would be 1 over 5, so it would be 1 fifth the size, okay? But we know it's times 5, so it's 5 times the size. So this is video 1, and this video was about breaking down the question and understanding the things that we need to understand to complete this exercise of drawing a section view in um, 5 to 1 scale.
Now go to video two.